Hey guys, Brennan here, BrennanValeski.com, and today you're going to learn everything about email marketing. Now, email marketing is so, so crucial in any type of online business model that you're running, whether that's e-commerce products, information products, really any type of online business uh, services, uh, software, literally anything. You need to be applying the email marketing strategies and growing the email list and growing out that base of people that you have that direct line of communication. because with with the way that social media is going these days, the way that Instagram, the way that you know Twitter or uh, YouTube even nowadays, uh, a lot of times with YouTube, you guys don't even get notified for my videos, which is absolutely ridiculous, okay? Unless you hit the notification bell. Like most people don't even see YouTube videos. Uh, you have to get kind of like, it's just hard for people to even see content. Facebook is absolutely notorious for this. Facebook literally has destroyed organic content marketing like organic marketing on facebook is 100 percent dead uh the only type of traffic left on facebook really is paid traffic so understand that the fact that your email list is so so important whether you're running that paid traffic through facebook with all the way that social media is you cannot guarantee that your customers your people that you have to be able to communicate with are actually going to see your message the only way you can guarantee that is with your email list because you have that direct line of communication and there is nothing no sort of algorithm stopping your email from getting to your email subscribers. There's no algorithm there. There is no company there that owns your base. You actually own that base of those those email subscribers. But at equally, at the same time, while you're building your list for your e-commerce store, for your, you know, whatever, whatever you're running, okay? Uh, whatever online business model you guys are running, while you're building it, also keep in mind the actual relationship with the list. And I'm going to be going through a crucial example, literally something I went out and did a test of an old, old list I had from about like a year and a half, two years ago that I figured, ah, well, let me just give it a shot, right? So you're going to be seeing that in just a moment here. I'm going to go in and kind of look at the analytics there to why building a relationship as well is so, so important with your email list. Because if you don't have a relationship with those people, they're not going to open your emails. They don't care what you have to say. Uh, and whatever business like this literally applies to every online business and it, it's just so so crucial especially as Facebook and, and all the algorithms thing uh, change with Instagram just put spitting out you know the most engage worthy content up to people people just scrolling 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 all day getting fed content to be able to break through that and get people to actually see your content is you know whether that's your you know advertising for a product or even just content marketing any type of stuff that you guys are doing, you need to be building a list. So we're going to jump into the computer in just a second and jump into the examples and exactly how you can get this set up in your business as well, uh, no matter what type of business model you're running. All right, you guys, so we are now in the computer. Now taking a look at the crucial mistake, the bad example I want to show you guys, because this is something that it just proves directly how important building the relationship is. So as you can see here, this is an old list that I had and I did a couple of emails over the last few days just to see, like gauge how people would interact with them, right? So this is an old list, maybe about, you know, about 450 people that I had sent out. Okay, so this is just a, a product launch list just to see if people would even open it or be interested in any type of product that I had. Now, if I really wanted to grow the relationship here with this list, it is in the more health and beauty niche. So I could, you know, potentially try to build a relationship. I don't really care too much about health and beauty niche. So I was just like, huh, let me see if I could maybe, you know, throw up some sort of product launch that might be interested in this, maybe could help them in some sort of way. And as you can see, the open rates are, and the unsubscribe rates are massive, okay? You can see the open rates, you know, it's actually decent open rates. Like, I didn't even expect over 10% open rate. People actually opened it, people opened it here, and, but you can see it steadily declined over the course of three days. I sent one out every single day at the same time. Although, actually, no, this one was at 7 p.m., this was at 3 p.m., and then 3 p.m. again. So maybe 7 p.m. was a better time uh, for people, but that all just depends with your market. Like, you have to test your email opening times. Uh, generally, I set it up just to one day, or you can even set up a thing called perfect timing. Uh, but that's only in Get Response, which I'm going to be diving into Get Response and why I actually choose them over Mailchimp. Uh, this example was with Mailchimp just because I had set up the Mailchimp is free up to a certain amount of people. 
Uh, and so I figured I would just import the list in here just to keep my stuff separate, uh, just to test it with MailChimp. You guys can use MailChimp and connect it really easily to your Shopify stores. If you guys are running e-commerce and stuff like that, you can do it pretty easily within there. But I actually would recommend Get Response over MailChimp for a, a number of reasons with the, the way the layout is and all that kind of stuff. But we're going to be getting into that a little bit later in this video. Uh, just as you can see here, though, with these open rates, comparatively, they steadily decreased because I did not have a relationship with these people. Okay, I barely had one, right? They bought a product from me here and there. But they don't really know. They're not really, they don't know what to expect. They're not getting any kind of value. Now, they are in the health and beauty niche, so maybe I could have sent them a couple blog posts and stuff like that, maybe kind of warmed them up a little bit more. The thing is, is it's been like so long. It's literally been over a year, a year and a half to where these people don't even really know what like what is this spam delete and that's the thing you're going to run into if you are just collecting emails to your shopify stores or your your businesses and, and having people buy your products but you're never actually reaching out and following up with them because people will just kind of forget like they they're like oh wait what the heck was this dude like you have to send people consistent information which you can actually automate as well to a degree so and to kind of welcome people in which i'm going to be showing you a uh, cool little thing i set up with with get response as well so but you can see obviously this does not work right zero clicks like zero clicks on any of the links that i put in these emails and, and these were you know set up in the type of format that i recommend which i can actually just pull up the first one here because i really don't care if you, like I, I don't care what you guys uh you know, if you guys want to see it or whatnot. So pulling up the email here, as you can see, I just did like a little, hey, Sarah here. You know, it, that was kind of the customer service person that I had running this sector here. I, it was like a pen name that I went under just because it was a lot of females buying from the store, uh, which is something you guys can do. Uh, although I would typically, typically recommend you use your actual first name. You don't need to put last names in your emails, but just something like that. So you can do something, you know, just plain text. Uh, you know, this is how I write my current emails out. Uh, for information products and all that kind of stuff within you know what I what I do within the the brennanvaleski.com brand and all the kind of stuff I do with my personal brand like everything you guys want to write out stuff that is legitimately helpful for people okay that's the only reason why people even like watch my videos or watch different stuff or or want to hear anything I have to say is because it's valuable okay so give something valuable kind of let people know about different things right so that's type typically the format that you can follow um, for when you're writing your emails, you just want to make sure you don't use any of those kind of like big boxy templates that look too much like a store. You want to give more of the personal feel, which is what this gives. Okay. You want to be like, kind of like a one-on-one -on -one with somebody, not like the whole spammy store, like ba ba ba, like big, like clickable boxes. Like you just want simple, plain text. Uh, and that's, and it's very straightforward. You just select the basic plain text. Uh, in the settings and you just go in and type stuff out like and make sure you put little spaces and you'll get better at copywriting and stuff like that over time and how to write out emails but that's just an example here okay that's just goes to show you though how important building an actual relationship is because otherwise you're just gonna have unsubscribes and, and people not opening your list which or your emails which doesn't get you any kind of results right no clicks no nothing no results so how do you actually get results with your email efforts and how do you actually grow your list right that that might be the next question you guys have is how do you actually like get people in your list if they're not only just buying your products right so the way that you do this is with an, an email bait now an email bait could be something like this right it could be a five dollar off coupon on your store this is just more of a an e-commerce type example but i actually recommend that you move to something else instead of just the five dollar off coupon because it, the value there is not that high, right? A $5 off coupon to get newsletters. Like I personally don't think that that's that valuable. I don't typically, you know, you can do that. But what I would actually recommend for you guys is to do some sort of quiz, right? Some sort of quiz here that can actually give them value and then lead them to a specific product. Now that's more helpful for within the fitness type niche or within maybe um, uh, curly hair niche and stuff like that. Like quizzes are really good for people that want to figure out something about their specific body type or something that would be very specific to them. So this quiz is kind of like, are you a man or a woman? Because it's related to fitness. Okay, it's like it's a fitness type brand. So that's kind of the thing there with a quiz. Quiz is good if you are doing some sort of fitness brand. Now, if you are doing something else, another thing you can also do is a like guide, right? A little PDF booklet guide 
It's very, very good and easy to make. Um, I'm actually gonna show you a website that I use to, to get the kind of like cut out templates as well. Uh, and, and that's just completely free. Like it's a website, 100% free to use. Uh, no, not an affiliate or anything. Like I just go to this website to make the, the little like uh, book templates. But you know, you guys can edit this in Photoshop, make some sort of free guide that is related to your niche. Maybe, maybe like how to take care of your cat. Okay, something like that, right? Uh, maybe a workout guide, right? Or maybe, you know, some sort of little tips, some sort of PDF, some sort of little booklet guide that people can read through. An example of that that I actually give out to you guys if you want to get on my list and actually see the videos when I put them out and get updated on content, go deeper and all that kind of fun stuff. I actually have a 100K uh, product list that you know you can download for absolutely free uh, it'll be linked in the description box of this video as well if you just go to brennanbleski.com forward slash 100k products not completely a plug in this video this is actually valuable for you guys but that is what you can do this is like a landing page example right you want to keep it simple so download now right so what this links out to is you know download your free guide now okay as you can see look at how similar this page looks there's really only one option for when people come to this page, right? They're gonna they're gonna be like, oh, I want this 100K products that, that Brendan has to offer. Oh my God, you know, they're gonna sell like crazy. I need this, right? Download now and boom, they have one option. They can either enter their email address, right? They can enter it in, subscribe to download, okay? All right, and I'm not gonna spam you guys if you guys actually, like you get a three day free training, tons of cool stuff in there. Uh, it's super valuable and you guys will actually get updated on stuff I put out and get all the fun daily emails, right? You guys get all that if you if you subscribe. But regardless, you know, it's the same thing here. Okay, download Lux this right now, right? Boom, like it's the download some of my free workout guide, okay? It's the exact same setup. It literally the exact like you guys can see, it's it's not that complicated, right? To set this up, um, if you guys have not actually seen my Thrive Architect video about how to set up like custom landing pages and stuff like that, that will be popping up in a card here. You guys can check out that video if you haven't seen it already. But that is how you can create these types of pages. Um, you just need a WordPress site and then Thrive Architect with the Thrive plugin. That's how you can set up these easy like click pop type things without click funnels. Like you can set up these things without needing click funnels because click funnels is $97 a month just just to do this right like especially if you guys are already running an e-commerce store you guys already have a website like you don't need to be paying for like click funnels just to just to give out free like a free workout guide like you don't need it okay you don't need that you just need this right you just need people have a free like a free giveaway page okay you could even potentially advertise this get people in and then what you can magically do once you get more opt-ins, more people into your list, because you can continuously follow up with them for free. Email marketing, guys. Email marketing, okay? You, and, and let me just give you another example before we actually jump into kind of the specifics, inner workings of what you can do when people actually sign up to download your free guides, right? They download your free guide. You know, if you guys want this, it's linked below. It's really cool. Uh, but it, another example within another e-com store, <laughs> The, and, and and this this business does like millions okay this is like a i should honestly do a six figure or seven figure case study um because this this brand does literally millions okay um survivalife.com it's owned by ryan dice which is digital marketer and all that kind of stuff like it's literally an absolute killer store okay killer killer content now, as you can see they have a bunch of the pop-ups have already popped up because i was on this page before uh, so you guys can do the messenger pop-ups, but really the big thing is the email address, okay? Enter email below to get free gear monthly. So what they do instead of just the free guide, which I think the free guide is a little bit easier to do and what I would typically recommend for most of you guys, uh, they actually do a gear tester type of thing with their email list and they provide, you know, like enter email for free gear. So they kind of do free plus shipping offers out into their emails. Um, like I said, if you guys also saw that, the Thrive Architect, like how to build sales pages video, uh, if you already saw the card, that that's the video. I also kind of go over the, one of their free plus shipping pages, one of Survival Life's free plus shipping pages, and that's what they send out with the free gear monthly. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do, whether you want to do some sort of workout guide or obviously, you're not, unless you're in the info space as well, you're probably not going to be doing a, 
100k product list, but you get the point. Like it's 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 a free download. You do that and you get people's emails, okay? Super cool, valuable stuff, right? They want to be a gear tester. They want to actually get the free workout guide. It's not it's not just like, "Hey, download my newsletter." Like nobody wants to just get your you have to bait people, okay? You have to bait people. You have to be like, whoosh, "100k product list, guys. 100k you, you want the products that are going to sell like crazy, right? Understand how they work and all that kind of stuff, okay? You know, it's all about like giving actual value to the people, right? A workout guide or free gear monthly. And you can see, yes, I want free gear. Another email pop up. Okay, this is an example page that you guys could also kind of replicate if you guys want to. Look, next step, okay? Everything comes up right here. And, and then after that, you click next step and then they have their OTO. Okay, now not everybody does an OTO. Uh, but I would typically recommend it if you can. You can set that up within WordPress and Thrive Themes. You can set up some sort of OTO here that gives people the option to actually buy something once they download your free thing. I'm not going to be putting in my f email into all these pages, uh, you know. But you can you get the point, right? Click here, boom, it takes you straight to an email opt-in page, right? Next step, they enter the email, they get sent to this page. That is what you guys want to do when you are going out there creating, if you're creating content for your business, your brand and all that kind of stuff, you need to be getting emails, okay? So then how, what do you actually do on the email side of things? Because all we've gone over so far is kind of like the pages, right? What the pages look like, you know, how to, how to set this up. Like I said, if you guys want the whole like page tutorial video, that will be, uh, you know, in the cards on the side, you guys can tap that and, and get, get access to that video. But we've only, you know, I've only kind of shown you what it, what it can look like, right? All these little things. So what do you actually do on the back end? The actual email funnel that kind of like, you know, brings people in, indoctrinates them in, lets them know about your brand and what you actually can offer, uh, offer them, right? So that is where the whole automation sequence comes in, okay? So this is actually the back end that I have been building out, building out, building out for, you know, BrennanBolesky.com, like my information product business, right? All that kind of fun stuff, affiliate marketing and, you know, all the kind of stuff, right? The courses, all that stuff, right? This is the back end for that. Now, I haven't dialed it in perfectly, of course, but this is kind of what you guys would set up when you get give out your free workout guides, you set, you know, give out your free gear. This is the back end, okay? When someone subscribes via here, and, and that's how you guys get the free valuable content, right? You click here, you click there, you put your email, you download, uh, you get the list and all that kind of stuff. You scroll through here, this is what then goes out, right? You're, I, I in, indoctrinate you guys into uh, what I have to talk about. I give some value, I send out some free cool stuff, free trainings, all that stuff, right? That's all in here. That is what you wanna do when you're giving out your workout guides or your beta tester, gear tester thing. You, this is the follow-up sequence, effectively. Now, you don't wanna just make this infinitely long, but you can make it decently long, give some good value in here, right? You give some good value, like, you know, you send, and I would do this in a one-day format, so, like, you send out one email, you in, introduce them, okay? The first email is to introduce them into everything, uh, right? Introduce them into everything, okay, cool. Then, after a day, boom, then we have the uh, day one training, okay? Day one training, day one value. It's give, 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 uh, give, 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 ask. Okay, that's kind of the Gary Vaynerchuk jab, 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 right hook type of thing. If you guys are familiar with his content, that is kind of the system here that you do in your emails, right? So it's like you give, you know, the intro, and it right as soon as they subscribe, as soon as they click download for that free thing, you then send them the intro to who you are and what you're going to be sending them, right? They, they need to get that introductory thing and you give them the free thing in the email if you're wondering, um, right? So then you go through here, then it's the day one training, the day two training, day three, okay? And then it's the intro into, into uh, my main Shopify mastery course if you guys are interested in that, if you guys want like how to do Shopify dropshipping uh, in depth, like all the nuts and bolts, I show you guys step by step. That's what that is, right? And then we have a couple of results emails kind of going over that. Boom, then the 24 hour warning on the discount and then boom, right? And then, it, you know, a couple hours left to claim it and then boom, then we just have like a Disney days, like a fun email, right? A fun little value and then people get put back to my main broadcast list, okay? After that, then people go to my main broadcast list. Now, what do you do in your main broadcast list? This is basically the bread and butter, 
of your internet business, okay? You indoctrinate people in, right, through something like this. It can look it can look completely different. This is kind of just the current status of it. It's probably gonna change a lot, to be fair. Um, and, and it's gonna look probably a, a bit different for my uh, survival e-com store and stuff like that when I get it all set up in there, which I'm gonna be documenting the process of, guys. Um, you know, like all that kind of stuff, that's the indoctrination, right? That's how you bring people in. That's how you kind of let them know about your brand, your business, what you what you have to offer. You you build a relationship, okay? It's not just about. I didn't just say like buy my course, buy my course, buy my course in this in this in these emails. Like I'm like actually giving giving you guys some free helpful content, right? And then I'm like, hey, if you want it, if you want to go deeper, cool, you can get it. Here's a couple of results of like some other people that have kind of gone through some of my trainings and teachings cool if not then you know you just keep going along and then boom you're in the disney days and it's just like fun stuff right and then and then it goes back to more helpful daily main broadcast list that's what you do okay and it, and if you think within e-commerce and shopify you can't do it you can pick one niche get focused okay you pick a niche you get focused you can give value to people inside the survival like if we look at their actual store um we go to their like actual store that's kind of like their blog this is like their blog where they get like seo traffic uh which I'll, I'll be making more content on that as well with how you guys can do that within just shopify alone uh but look at that right this is their normal store okay you can give value to these people no matter what niche business you're running like you guys can give value to your people that's the whole basis of this if you're just trying to get quick sales it's not going to last forever people are going to pe people they'll move on okay they might buy one thing and then pfft, oh i don't even like this you know if you build a relationship especially with the shipping times from drop shipping people will not care because they like you they know like and trust you they know like and trust your brand like it, of course if you can get the shipping times tighter and stuff then sure but like drop shipping alone is a great business model and that's what i have exercised and used like it's it, there's a it's great, okay, of course. <laughs> Dropshipping is great, but like, the reason why people stick around is for the relationship. People will look past the potential problems if you take care of them, okay? So you're taking care of them by giving them this cool workout guide that they're like, oh, I remember this girl who taught me all this cool stuff. I remember this brand, uh, Survival Life, who send me cool like blog posts about like survival hacks, okay, or survival tips. I like this cool Brennan dude who sends me, you know, trainings about how to do this, uh, 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 you know, Shopify stuff, okay? Or n not even just Shopify stuff. Like this email marketing video can literally be applied to every other, every other on kind of online business beyond just like Shopify dropshipping is, ugh, it's dead. Oh my god! Like I'm trying to move away from those like type of clickbaity people, okay? That that's what I'm trying to be <laughs> be different from. All right, I'm not. I'm not like all those other guys. All right, I'm trying to like actually be helpful and not just. Oh, got rollies on my wrist, like stupid shit. Okay, you know that's just dumb, dumb investments. All right, but, but not to not to throw more and more shade at the fake gurus. You know, I'll throw shade at fake gurus all day. It's whatever, but like that's kind of the process here, right? You move them into your main list, and then you just send them cool stuff. And every so often, you're like, hey, guess what? We got another product. But as you can see, this is the difference between people that actually will open your emails and click on your emails when you're giving them cool stuff. When you give them cool stuff, okay? The, that other list, like I showed you at the beginning of this video on, on uh, MailChimp, they didn't click, they didn't open. That's because there was no relationship. So hopefully you guys can kind of understand here, this is the relationship building phase. This is kind of where you introduce people and then the main broadcast list, you continue to follow up and and because when you're paying only for Facebook ads all day, eventually Facebook is going to get too expensive and you're not going to be able to get those you get, get new people all the time. You need to establish a relationship with your current customers to keep them to come back. Okay. That is the only way to build a sustainable long-term business. When you're relying only on the one platform to bring you all your money and then that platform gets too expensive, then you're screwed. So make sure you keep your list in a good health good relationship, good health, and you will be perfectly fine. And you just move on beyond Facebook to the next platform, the next platform you can advertise on. Okay. I I've been around since MySpace days. Okay. MySpace, you don't hear about it anymore. It's completely dead. Okay. I used to have a MySpace account way back in the days. Nobody's on MySpace anymore. 
it kind of going that way with Snapchat even because Instagram took all the market share from Snapchat with the stories. You can see that some whenever a platform shifts, you're screwed. So that's why you build a list because you 100% own it all the time. So keep the relationship with those people and then you don't even have to advertise anymore when you have a massive good list. Now, of course, you want to probably keep growing your list over time, of course. But like you when you don't have to advertise, it's pretty freaking nice. OK, so you can build out, build out the stuff, build out the stuff I just said. Now, if you do want to connect to get response, you can see, look, all the different integrations get response has and look at here. Shopify, boom, you just import, you connect your store, you type in your shop URL right there and you connect it straight to get response and then you can start kind of doing the the whole flow here. If you guys don't already have get response, brandonvaleski.com forward slash get response and that will be on a card as well. You guys can go ahead and get access to that. But that, that's kind of the system here, guys, okay? So I hope you guys found this video helpful. This is why it is so, so important to build out your email list because as social media uh, platforms change, things change, algorithms change, companies shift their motives, you will not be screwed. You will have your list that you can continue to follow up with, make offers at you know perfectly timed, send value, and actually be able to continue to have success online as things change. And you're not gonna get screwed up by some sort of update. So it's so, so important. You guys need to be building your list. Those are just a couple of different ways that you can build it. Obviously, those normal sales that you get will build in into your list, but in terms of actually just getting leads and getting people that you can follow up with, do the free guides. It, you got to bait people in. That's definitely the best way that you can actually get people on your list and expect, you know, give them more value, right? Build the relationship. That's the whole purpose here of this video. So if, if you guys haven't gotten that yet, you know, watching all the way to the end, I appreciate you guys for staying here. Definitely drop a like, drop a comment below so we can get that engagement rate up. If you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and spending your time with me here today. And I'll see you in the next one.